The vaccination process of fighting the COVID-19 pandemic has been an epic effort. Communities in need are on the front lines for medical attention, which takes us to Cistrunk Boulevard near downtown Fort Lauderdale. Fitting that it is named after the iconic physician, Dr. James Franklin Cistrunk, who as a surgeon was not allowed to practice in the city because he was black. Thus, he joined Dr. Von D. Meisel and established Fort Lauderdale's first medical facility for blacks, Provident Hospital. Throughout Broward County, Dr. Sistrunk would make house calls and assist those who are financially strained. That effort continues today, and in this episode, we're on location on Sistrunk Boulevard, highlighting a dynamic partnership that addresses the need for vaccinations. Dr. Sistrunk would be proud. Welcome to this episode of Power Moves, highlighting people and organizations impacting communities and elevating the narrative. I'm so happy to be here today at the Mount Olive Development Corporation's vaccine event in the heart of Fort Lauderdale. Health Foundation has been partnering with a number of grassroots organizations today. It's about Mount Olive bringing vaccines into the black community, partnering with trusted messengers and really wanting to do our part to show support, to raise awareness and acceptance of the vaccine, the COVID-19 vaccine. Beyond raising awareness and acceptance, they're hosting vaccination events across the county. So we're very excited to be here, support them and spread the message that the vaccine is safe and it's the best way for us to move our community forward. It's so important that we make sure that no matter where you live in our community, that everyone gets vaccinated against the COVID-19 virus. We've seen the devastation that the virus has wrought over the last 15 or so months. We've lost lives and loved ones. We've had people who have lost hours at their jobs. It's devastated our economy. And the, the way back to full strength in our community and, and the ability to keep people healthy and safe is to get vaccinated. And so there are some parts of our community that have really you know, been able to get fully vaccinated and are near, near fully vaccinated and some parts of our community that are lagging behind, either because their work hours don't align or there's they're fearful and they are concerned that somehow the vaccination might hurt them. I'm here because I represent this community in our nation's capital. I wanna make sure that everybody knows how important it is to get vaccinated, that it is safe, that all the things that you're hearing on social media are not true. And the main way to protect yourself against this virus is to get a vaccination. We're having to partner up and, and create new, new partnerships that perhaps you know, now are only the beginning of the kind of work that we can do together to keep people healthy. The Health Foundation of South Florida, coupled with Mount Olive, two institutions that have tremendous respect in our community, coming together really exponentially increases the impact and the confidence that we can, in, that we can instill in people who still have been hesitant about getting a vaccine. So today we're here at the Mount Olive Development Corporation, which is the outreach arm of the new Mount Olive Baptist Church. Our church has a 101 year history in this community. The vaccine is something that's very important to our pastor and our congregation in ensuring that all the members of our community are vaccinated. The African American community has been hesitant to be vaccinated because of the lack of trust for government but connecting the spiritual component of our church, our 101 year legacy in this community of serving the community through our community development corporation, the various programs we offer for housing, for food insecurity, for spirituality, for children, has really gained us the trust of the community. So we're here today on the historic Cistron Quarter with a vaccination event. And it is our desire that we will continue to work until every member of our community is vaccinated. We know that it's very important that we have some measure of protection as it pertains to this deadly pandemic. I was happy to be vaccinated. So I'm here today as an example. I did it and I'm encouraging my entire community to do it as well. Through this pandemic, God blessed us with an incredible partnership with the Health Foundation. And it has been a remarkable partnership because we were here in the community trying to get people tested with limited resources. So this partnership has allowed us to build our capacity from a human capital perspective, from a resource perspective that we've been better able to market and educate the community about the COVID-19 pandemic. 
and it's been just tremendous with the number of people we've been able to engage, the number of people we've been able to help get vaccinated. A lot of times in the African American community, many organizations have great desires and goals and wishes to help, but because they do not have the relationship capital or they have not been ingrained in the community in such a way that the community trusts them, they, the community does not respond. And so oftentimes data will indicate that African American communities are not interested and not participating when it's a trust issue. So when you get a wonderful partnership like this where you have an organization such as the Health Park uh, Foundation partnering with a community-based organization that's grinding every day in the community, building the trust with the families, we're able to reach them. This, this partnership has also created jobs in the pandemic. We were able to hire grassroots staff that's been working in the community to reach the people. Faith-based organization or churches is part of our DNA. The black community believe in, you know, we have a strong spiritual component. And Mount Olivet as a church and as this community and getting all the churches organized to be able to take out the voice out, tell the members, the members that it's okay to get this vaccine. Churches have always been part of the movement, of every movement in the black community, and this is not an exception with the vaccine.